Uh, dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to start a new topic that is the histology of human bone. So this is a ground section and this is the ground section of a compact bone as you can see in this histological slide. The bone it is deposited in layers like the layers of an onion so you can see different layers of bone both circular and longitudinal layers and these layers of bones they are known as lamellae so there are two types of lamellae uh, that are visible in this complete ground section now the lamellae or the layers that are in the circular pattern they are known as circumferential lamellae so you can see here these layers they are in circular pattern they are known as And this is the outermost layer. So these lamellae, they are known as the concentric lamellae. And here, there's another concentric lamellae. These are another concentric lamellae. Here, there are multiple layers in over here. And these are the concentric lamellae. So now you can see concentric lamella on higher magnification now these lamellae they form the bulk of the bone compact bone means the majority of the compact bone it is formed by these concentric lamellae here one concentric lamellae over here one concentric lamellae one concentric lamellae another concentric lamella so these lamellae they form the bulk of the compact bone and they form the basic metabolic unit of bone known as osteon so this complete concentric lamellae it is known as osteon so this is one osteon this is another osteon this is another osteon so let me show you a single osteon on a higher magnification. So this is a histological image of an osteon on a higher magnification. So this osteon is also known as Hevergian system. Now in the center of this osteon or the concentric in the center of this lamellae there is a canal and this canal is known as the hevergian canal and this hevergian canal in the living bone this canal is lined by the cells and in addition to the cells each canal contain a capillary each canal contain a capillary and vein a vein and a nerve so it can it is it contain a neurovascular bundle so now the adjacent canals uh, now this is one hevergian canal for example this is another hevergian canal so these hevergian canals, they are interconnected with each other. So these hevergian canals, for example, they are interconnected with each other. For example, this hevergian canal, it is interconnected with the adjacent hevergian canal. With the adjacent hevergian canal. You can see um, in this image on a higher magnification that is appearing right now on your screen so these this interconnection of the hevergian canals it is known as the volkman canal and these volkman canals they also contain these 
the anastomosis between these blood and the nerve nerves to provide the rich vascular supply throughout the bone. Now, there are some layers apart from these concentric lamellae. There are some lamellae that are present in between these concentric lamellae. And we call them as interstitial lamellae. There are lamellae that are present in between these concentric lamellae. For example, over here, they are arranged not in the circular pattern and they are present in between these concentric lamellae. And we call them as interstitial lamellae. For example, over here, and this is a concentric, this is an osteon. And the concentric lamella, it, it is formed by the concentric lamella. So there, these are the interstitial lamella. These interstitial lamella, they fill the spaces between the osteons. And they are thought to be a pre-existing, they are, they, these lamella, they are thought to be pre-existing concentric lamella. And these interstitial lamellae they are formed as a result of the remodeling of the old osteons now uh, there are some spaces or there are some small holes that you can see in this uh, histological slide here is this now uh, within this architecture of the bone you can see these small holes and these small holes they are known as the osteocytic lacunae and in the living bone the osteocytic lacunae they contain cells that are known as osteocytes and these osteocytes they are trapped within these spaces uh, during bone formation these osteocytes they are interconnected with each other with the help of small canaliculi as you can see in this higher magnification picture and these small canaliculi uh, or these small channels that are associated uh, with this uh, with these lacunae they help in the diffusion of nutrients and they also help in the transduction or of signals to the adjacent osteocytes. So these are the function of these osteocytic lacunae and these lacunae, they do not contain an osteocytes in, in the ground sections. So this is all about compact bone. Um, I tried to explain it very well. Please uh, don't forget to give me your feedback in the comments whether you like this explanation or not. So th again, thank you very much for watching and stay blessed.